Hey everybody, welcome to Kame House Party. I am Aaron. And I am Vince. And this is the universe's only improv comedy Dragon Ball watch along podcast. And we are here to watch Dragon Ball. Well, we already we already did that. We've <laughs> we've come here because we watched Dragon Ball episode at a, an episode at a time, uh, in all of its many iterations. Uh, and then we're gonna. What we're here to do is to talk about it and to do some fun improv based on what we watched. We've been gone for a wee bit, but we're getting back into the swing of it. Seeing yeah, how brother. we feel. Mm-hmm. Good. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, and good to be heard out there on the podcast waves. Mm-hmm. Your RSS feeds just got a little smoother. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Check the WRSS fee. WRSS 106, the feed. Welcome to the feed. There, there was a time in podcasting where you had to learn about RSS feeds, and now no one cares or knows. <laughs> it, the ancient art has left us. It's all like, back end. It's all back end stuff. You don't have to worry about that. Mm-mm. Um, but we do have to worry about... Uh, doing a little Kame housekeeping. Uh, It's been a few weeks, so it's dusty, musty, um, (coughs) gross as hell. Yeah. That's that's all the dust. (coughs) When when I turned the light on, a bunch of cockroaches scattered. (laughs) Um, So we got to clean up uh, and get you, the audience, ready for the Dragon Ball journey ahead. In the first part of Kame housekeeping, is the world famous, you, still you unsanctioned, one minute roundup. Um, yeah, creak sound. Eep. You found my lair. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, yeah, that's right, witch. We're we're tired of you eating our kids. Oh, but. But boys are so delicious, and and girls are simply scrumptious. Oh, what would you have this poor witch go hungry? They're, we, we're a socialist society. We have all this free food that you can have. You don't have to keep luring our children in. Have you ever hunted before? Me? Yeah, I've hunted. Oh, so you, you know the circle of life? I'm, I'm aware of the song. To hunt is to kill, to be hunted, and to be killed, no? So you're saying that uh, this, is a, this is all... You're justified in, in your killing our children. Maybe take the air quotes off of it, and this witch might, I don't know, spare your life? Are you going to eat me? No, too fatty. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And seed. and seed. Now eating children, one thing, but making fun of my weight, which you've gone too far. Which please, which please. These were witches out here be crazy. <laughs> Ever notice how a witch eats a kid like this? <laughs> Forget spoon, of course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That <laughs> goblins eat a kid like this. <laughs> Bare hands. Like a turkey leg <laughs> at a rent <laughs> fair. These orcs are eating kids like corn on the cob. <laughs> They're just rotating them. Don't get me started on giants. Wasting all that meat just to make bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they toss it away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They've got this kid skin buckets. Ugh. Gross. They never just clean wasteful. it out. Wasteful. Go back up your beanstalk, giant. <laughs> Get giants, get out of here. Get stalked. Get stalked. <laughs> Up your cloud castle that you inherited. I hope a woodsman chops it down. <laughs> no wonder this guy was giving out beans for cows. <laughs> These things suck. So much for prime real estate. <laughs> I know, that's why that's why they had to chop it down because like we have people living in clouds our our market oh no 
the literal landlords. <laughs> I, I can't be a Skylord now. I'm too old. Can't make My that investment. <laughs> People get rich off like a one foot by one foot plot of land where their stock is. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look, we, Aaron, we, we, can't, we cannot fix the housing crisis right now, medieval no. or otherwise. Yeah. Narnia, you have to take care of thyself. Because uh, we yeah. have to get to uh, the one-minute roundup proper. Because that, that was just a fun little thing we do to loosen or tighten our improv muscles. Gotta say, we haven't lost a step. Mm-mm. Uh, it, but we gotta step into the proper one minute roundup, which I did tell you about already. Uh, so two steps, uh, which is where one of us, this time Vince, has to summarize everything that we've talked about in Dragon Ball thus far. All of the original Dragon Ball, 163 episodes of Dragon Ball Z. Um, and this is for you, the listener. You don't have to go back and listen to our old episodes, although a lot of you do, and we appreciate it. Um, it makes us blush. <laughs> it makes us poke at our dimples. I'm a dimply boy, and I'm letting you know. <laughs> uh, but you don't gotta. You can just start at the latest, Dan, dare I say greatest, episode. Um, and it starts when I ask Vince. Vince, start of a new question. Are you ready to round up? Hold on. Huge gulp. Yes, I am gulp, and here I go. So, Dragon Ball is about collecting seven magic crystal balls. You get them together, you wish for anything you want. Goku goes on an adventure to find them uh, with the girl named Bulma. They run into a bunch of friends that we now know as the Z Fighters, aka Master Roshi, Yamcha, Oolong, Poir, Piccolo, uh, Tien Shin Han, all those, all those people. Then uh, some Saiyans come to Earth. It's well, one's Goku's brother, and uh, then Goku dies. Goes, he comes back from the afterlife. Goes to space, fights the baddest dude in the universe. Frieza comes back. Uh, <clears throat> Future Trunks shows up and is like, bro, you're going to die of a heart attack. Here's some future pills. Also androids. And uh, then Vegeta goes Super Saiyan after begging for it. Um, <laughs> then Vegeta fucks up again by letting Cell uh, get the androids, becoming perfect. Um, <clears throat> gets his ass beat <laughs> summarily by perfect Cell. Um <clears throat> Piccolo and Tien are watching from the lookout, just going, uh, uh, uh. Um, and now uh, Trunks from the future is facing off against Cell. Yeah. Holy crap. <clears throat> I Favorite part, <laughs> Vegeta turned Super Saiyan because he begged for it. <laughs> he got his hands and knees. He, he went on Space Realm Springer, just begged. <laughs> begged Please. this. Saying gods, please, I fell behind Kakarot again. I'm a good little boy, please. I never talk back to my elders. Mm -hmm. I finish my plate. <laughs> I eat all my veggies. I eat me. I became a, I became a father. What more do I have to do? Mm -hmm. Kakarot did it. I was... I, I'm sure we've talked because we're nasty boys. I'm sure we talked about this before where it's like at this point, you would you you wouldn't be incorrect to think that the key to being a Super Saiyan is <laughs> raw docking. <laughs> yes, we are so back. <laughs> Goku. Goku yeah. didn't go Super Saiyan until. Until. Mm -hmm, Vegeta didn't mm -hmm. go Super Saiyan until. That's right. I'm just. That's why at, he at left. Least, at least a generational gap of Super Saiyans prerequisite okay. had to be cut that tail off mm -hmm. and put that tail in something else. <laughs> if, you're, if you're not half human, you got to break one off of you and you got to break one off. <laughs> Vince, I fucking love you. I'm so oh, glad to love be you back too. here. <laughs> and we can move on to the next part of Kame Housekeeping, which is where we let you know we watch two different versions of the episode. I'm still watching the English subtitled. Vince is still watching the English dub. We're doing it so we can compare and contrast uh, the differences, whether they be big or whether they be small. And the first difference is usually the title. So Vince, can you please give us the title 
for the English dub version of this episode. Absolutely. I got to dust off my DBZ announcer voice because mm. here it is. Episode 164 of Dragon Ball Z. Ghosts from Tomorrow. Future Ghost. Also the title of the next uh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters 8, Ghosts of Ghosts from Tomorrow. Finn Wolfhard fights, uh, I don't know. Future ghost, Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, is it just their own ghost from the future? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or like a sentient Slimer ghost from, from the future. Uh, Why are ghosts great... always in the past? Why can't they be from, from now in the future? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. An intelligent Slimer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've evolved, old chap. I no longer wish to slime. <laughs> then they, they wheel out like a steaming tray of hot dogs. They happen <laughs> to be like, by Nathan's. Like, uh, wiping his, his ghost brow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't succumb, old boy. <laughs> Stiff up your lip. You spent, you've spent hundreds of years. <laughs> <laughs> In ghost therapy. <laughs> You've seen ghost specialist after ghost specialist. <laughs> Think of your wife. <laughs> Slime it. And the boys. <laughs> Slimy and Slimo. Your unborn child. <laughs> Slime Manila. <laughs> <laughs> My title. <laughs> oh, yeah. For, uh, <laughs> for episode 164. It does not involve ghosts, but it does involve something else spooky. Uh, and also, by the way, you didn't have to dust off that announcer voice. That was that was fresh it was, as the day it was born. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're very mm -hmm. kind. <clears throat> uh, but my title is A Future of Despair, Trunks, the Man Who Lived Through Hell. Ooh. I like that. The Man Who Lived through hell he did trunks really did go through it it's it's rough it was a rough future um so let's let's learn what happened um also uh sell lived through hell his own kind of hell in the future as well that's true that's true i've i've been i've been hungry not in new york mm -hmm. and it'd be late at night i'm like oh you know it's gonna be easy to door dash right now taco bell baby it's gotta be what no, this can't be. 35 minutes away. They close at 11? Unheard of. My insatiable hunger. Yeah, it's... We'll get, we'll get into it. We'll get into why self so a hungry boy. Because uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're, we're where we left off uh, with the recap. Trunks is screaming and bulging and powering up. Um, just a bunch of good old-fashioned power-up stuff in... This first part is sort of, we're making the rounds to all the yep. characters reacting. 16 is just like, wow, what the big key. <laughs> Dang. I forgot, I forgot that was his voice. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> it's very memorable. I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed that I forgot. <clears throat> and Piccolo and Tien are on the lookout. Oh, his power level's greater than Vegeta's. Krillin forgetting the the mission that Trunks gave him minutes before. He's <laughs> having he's, key envy. He's mad. He wants to watch the fight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's my whole thing. I just spectate now. <laughs> I hold the beans and then I watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I sit in the I sit in the karate chair in the corner of the room. <laughs> Twiddling my beans. <laughs> Like, is it my turn? Is it time to, to toss that bean? Who needs it? Mm -hmm. I'm just here to help. Mm -hmm. Back rubs. Hydrate. <laughs> oh, Trunks, let me wipe your brow. <laughs> yeah, like a surgeon. <laughs> it's an important, look, that's an important job in that surgery room. His hands are busy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or her hands, my mistake. That's right. Their hands. Aaron, the doctor. The doctor was a bull. Fuck, you got me. <laughs> it's her son. <laughs> now I get it. 
Who, who else do we see? Oh, we do. We do a little, a little lighthearted fare in this episode. One of two, I'd say, because uh, we do go to Kame House, where Chi Chi thinks there's an earthquake, and Roshi is like, "Oh yes," takes the opportunity to just slide behind Chi Chi on his back, assuming she's gonna fall down in his face. Mm-hmm. Two seconds go by. He's like, "Ah, eh, fuck this." Hey, Chi Chi, uh, excuse me. Just could, taps could you, it. Yeah, could you fall down, please? <laughs> he doesn't say that, but that's that's the intent. It's heavily implied in in both versions. I can I can say that that is equal levels of Roshi perv. So I'm I'm glad thus far I'm getting every note of Dragon Ball in one episode: yelling, light perversion, Krillin not being able to do anything. It's great. People commenting. Oh yes. Oh that's, yes. We did. We yeah. The trifecta of Dragon Ball. <laughs> and uh, this, this is like the unsung hero of Dragon Ball, especially like in this saga has been the the flashback to the future that is now, never was, could be mm-hmm. <laughs> like two uh, futures ago. Yeah, two. We're two futures flash flashing back. Uh, the androids are spreading terror. We're, this is more Trunks backstory. Um, and I think, yeah, the idea is that he is telling Cell this of like, look, future sucks ass. And I'm swearing, he swears an oath in mine oh. of like, I'm not going to let any artificial humans cause what happened. I'm going to stop all of them mm-hmm. because, of, because of this story. You listen, Cell. You sit there, you listen to the story. Um, <clears throat> I, in my notes, I put like, they even got Yajirobe. There, <laughs> I do want to like, because he does just name people dying. Vegeta, a Piccolo, even a Krillin, they get like a fully animated sequence of death. Um, and then it's just it's just screenshots of of Tien and Yamcha, and then like you said, Yajirobe is there. Mm-hmm. He's getting his, he's literally getting his ass blasted by 18. He he's running away and getting his ass blasted. And you see that his sword is broken too. I'm just like the insult to poor Yajirobe. Also the compliment that he is one of the strongest human beings alive. Mm-hmm. He's up there. He, he's worth mentioning. Exactly. You know who didn't get anything? Chao Tzu. Yeah, I ran away. I went back to my clown dimension. <laughs> Surprise. Just spinning his little fingers. <laughs> me and me and Joaquin, we just hung out. It's like, how's Lady Gaga? Okay. Chao I forgot that you're connected to the Joker verse as well. <laughs> I consult on all of them. Oh, it's crazy, Chow, too, that Lady Gaga is going to be Harley Quinzel mm-hmm. um, in the new movie. Like, when you, when you heard about that, how did, how did it make you feel? Like, were you excited? Or, like, did you get to talk to her? Did she, did she talk to you about the process? Um, they asked my opinion on who to cast, and, and me and Todd Phillips are boys. We both hate woke comedy. <laughs> <laughs> we hate, we think things are... You can't joke about certain things, so that's why I went to drama. Uh, Is that why you gained the power to give everyone diarrhea? Mm -hmm. I was like, (laughs) we. I I was like, I'm tired of clean comedy. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm look. I I I said it in the room. I'll say it now. Gaga for Gaga. (laughs) Chao Tzu, I'm I'm glad you feel. Uh, that you can be so candid. Uh, and thank you for sitting down for this IMDb interview. <laughs> yeah. uh, my top four films are. <laughs> I, I didn't ask. I didn't ask. This is okay. Oh, it's not letterboxed. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We can't do that. That's letterboxed. This whole thing. <laughs> and see. And see. Letter. Ah. Oh, letter. I, I can't. No, we don't have time. Do you have time to me to get into letterboxed? Can you do anime on Letterboxd? Uh, yeah, there's a ton of it. Okay, so one of my, I do use Letterboxd. 
Okay. If you look, much like the A team, if you're in need of letterbox opinions and you can find him, I'm on there. <laughs> um I don't like that they do comedy specials. I don't like that they do TV shows. I'm huh. like, this is this is movies. This is feature films. Yeah, why would in my opinion? God, there's so much stand. Um, Who, who's got the Who's got the time or the patience to to do to, to list to do letterbox for stand up? That it's seems just, seems like a gross misuse of your own time. I just don't like that it's mixed in with everything. I just yeah. feel like it should be movie focused. Uh, my top here's my top four. I think I know it by memory. Uh, Evil Dead Two. <laughs> got it. Speed Racer from 2008. Okay. That movie, fight me. Not you, but no. other people. <laughs> uh, Perfect Blue is in there, so you do have an anime. I forget what okay. my fourth one is. It might be cringy. I might not. You know what? Get on my letterbox to find out. I might hey. need to change it real quick. If you can, if, Aaron, finding Aaron's letterbox is like finding the One Piece. Mm -hmm. It's real, but you don't know where it is. I've also realized I've almost watched 2,000 movies. Wow. I'm at one, I'm at 1900 something. You've, you've watched some, you, you've watched more movies than there are episodes of one piece. I have, I mean, not for long, but no, it's quick. It'll quickly catch you mm -hmm. if you slow down even, even a day. I ha Yeah. So yeah. What's my excuse for not watching one piece? If movies are longer. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. Look, we we don't have time to talk about One Piece. It's not what this show is about. Mm -hmm. Okay, we gotta we gotta talk about the rest of this flashback, which ends with uh, future Gohan with one arm and Trunks uh, fighting the androids. I had in my notes the voice actor for the future Gohan is great. Wish we had more of future Gohan to to fawn over and enjoy mm -hmm. in this series. I'm glad that we got so much in this episode, more than I ever remember. Um, more context to the fight, which is cool. Um, and we do get like three mushroom clouds in the same uh, scene. Oh yeah, his his Masenkos are are nuclear. Nuclear at this baby. point. Um, I want to say what it seemed like is that it threw me off. Uh, future Gohan might have just been Goku, so Masako Nazawa. So I couldn't tell in mine if that was uh, Sean Sumel do put doing like a put on mm -hmm. or if they had brought somebody else in because it sounds different enough like didn't sound like bardock at all yeah it, it had like its own distinct like young adult gohan and maybe that's gohan's voice actor has a range that i didn't know existed they, um, they're like it's <laughs> coming up put him bring him in mm -hmm. bring in the ringer yeah i love seeing a preteen trunks he looks he looks like a little scoundrel it's that side part, baby. Mm -hmm. He he he's got. Oh yeah, he's got. He's like, oh, I saw this. I saw my mom had this style at some point. I'm stealing it. <laughs> Using the Z Z sword to great effect. Mm -hmm. Cutting eighteen's hair. Oh, she's so mad about it. She's so mad. So mad. Um, but they basically yeah. So they have a skirmish. They run off, and then. Gohan dies off camera <laughs> as Trunks finishes his narration. He's like, Trunks, he's like, uh, Gohan died. And that sucked. Mm -hmm. And then he, he finishes his whole backstory by telling Cell, for the future of the Earth, I will kill you. Yes. Yes. Kill that plankton sounding <laughs> motherfucker. I mean, but like, look, Vince, every, every story has two sides mm -hmm. uh, and we'll get to it once we on, we're on the other side of this commercial. <gasps> hey, Riley. Yeah, Andrew. Do you want to make a podcast ad? I, I do, but what would we mention? So I think that we could probably put together an ad for a show called The Podcast Minds. Ah. There, but for the grace of pod, go we. You know, it's a podcast where we both pitch each other podcast ideas instead of doing one ourselves. Yeah, it's a podcast pilot pitching project. Totally. It's We should mention that it's a comedy show, right? Where we throw out ideas like getting weirdly deep into the themes of Jumanji. Is that one a podcast? No, no. Uh, I, I it's, a, it's a podcast idea that is actually a front for me to talk to you about hyperfixations I got. 
Oh, that's uh, most of the things that you hit me with. Uh, what about instead if we just talked about all the different ways you could do a rewatch of Lost? Oh, that sounds like you just did what I did, but <laughs> you said it in a positive voice. Okay, and along the way, what if we pitched ideas like, I don't know, Epic Rap Battles of Mystery, the Lin-Manuel Miranda podcast? Listen to the podcast minds. There before the grace of pod, go we on your podcatcher of choice on the Moonshot Network. Hi ho! Hi ho! Every Friday. You would think Cell would be all intimidated or boo-hoo-y. Cell's like, kind of, he's kind of, je- he he loves this, actually. <laughs> he's like, oh, you, you might be able to beat me. Also, here's my sad backstory. I used to be a little embryo in a jar. I, on- I only had my daddy's voice to tell mm-hmm. me what to do. <laughs> he said, you're made from a bunch of... Uh, you know, if I, I, I saw all these karate guys, I'm like, what if I mashed them all together into you, son? And here I am. A f- one time machine trip. So I was born in the future. I escaped. I, there are parts of this flashback where Cell, like, grows too big, busts out of his weird tube, crawls away. Very gross. Very creepy. Mm-hmm. He's like scuttling behind corners as a bug. Um, then he turns into a man. And then it's like, the main problem is that there weren't enough people around for him to eat, as you yeah. were saying earlier. Do you got the munchies? Mm-hmm. Munchies, munchies everywhere, but not, a, not enough to eat. He was just born. He needs sustenance. He's growing a growing uh, agent of chaos. He just... He just popped out of a cicada show. He need, he needs something. Yeah, and um, I, I did like that. He was like, I was always a step a step behind the androids until I learned that you deactivated them. Um, and then Cell goes on to say, "It's your fault. This is all your fault, Trunks. <laughs> you did this because you had to go meddle in the future. You gave me a whole new world." Void of androids that I could consume all I wish and make my daddy's dream come true and steal the Krabby Patty formula. <laughs> Wait, take a step back. Oh, <laughs> I don't know who Plankton is. Mr. I've never heard of a Mr. Krabs, even though I hate the sound of his name <laughs> with my one eye. And you're yellow like some sponge I haven't <laughs> met before. And your pal, Squillin. <laughs> Squillin. <laughs> the perfect foiled Krillin in the SpongeBob universe. Well, here's is, th- it, it, it is Squidward just because they're polar opposites. One has a huge nose mm-hmm. and sounds like he has no nose. And Krillin has no nose and sounds like he has no nose. Sounds, yeah. <laughs> sounds like Sunny Straight. <laughs> there's, there is a, there's a little bit of a fight scene from the future with cell some some folks around him someone tries to like just wallop him with a mallet oh <laughs> yeah that's their big strategy <laughs> all right boys surround him i think that's the that's the <laughs> voice they gave the i called them the resistance group mm-hmm. um you had a fire rule number one of uh firing at a target don't stand in a circle <laughs> yeah that's bad it's bad but i guess it didn't matter because as we know, Cell is impervious to bullets mm-hmm. and then uh, got to getting in, in mind, Cell called it the bio extract instead of like Ooh. human energy. It's really gross. Um, bio and yeah. extract. Yeah. Just being grossed out here for a second. <laughs> it's okay. Take, take a breather because um, um, it's after like Cell... He's like, now, now, Trunks, you've guaranteed a world of destruct, like, you've guaranteed the destruction of Earth by going into the future. Um, <clears throat> he raises his power. The two start fighting, exchanging blows. Their energy is so massive. There's lightning strikes. The clouds are darkened. Um, they eventually, like, lock hands in a power struggle. Mm-hmm. Exchange headbutts. 
uh, Trunks seems to have the upper hand. And at one point, Cell even admits that Trunks has got him beat with brute strength, but he has no chance of defeating him. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. Whatever could he mean? Um, We don't know, because that's how the, that's how the episode ends. Quick and dirty, this one. It's yeah. I mean, it's a good it's a good cliffhanger of like, yes, you've surpassed me, but uh, you can't possibly beat me. Mm-hmm. Weak. Intrigued. Look into my pink eyes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think the problem is, Trunks? What do you think I have on you, Trunks? <laughs> Some dirt. I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel your ass. <laughs> this is a gotcha fight, Trunks. <laughs> You're going to look real dumb on the nightly news. Mm-hmm. TMZ is going to have a field day. <laughs> that bullpen's going to go crazy for this one. <laughs> uh, I saw Trunks. Uh, he's getting a coffee. <laughs> and uh, he's kind of rude. Gen Z correspondent. Trunks has a center part. Ew. <laughs> I thought they loved that shit. Is that, is that right? I thought, I thought it was back. Center parts are cool. I think should I type it into should I type it into the Google machine to find out if the young people like a center part again? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Okay. I don't. I don't want. I want to know. Let I don't that know be if that mystery. comes from. I don't know if that comes from BTS and and K-pop in general. They they still love a center part over there. Yeah. BTS, an undeniable mark on human history. Hmm. Now a mark in the Korean <laughs> military. <laughs> Yeah, most of them. I think all but one, because he was too oh, old. Wow. Um, and I think he's he has like, like a little ooh. solo career. Look, I, I'm not part of the BTS army. No, I'm a general. <laughs> <laughs> what if I did this? <laughs> what if I made a heart in a weird way that I don't like? How, how'd you know? Who told you? <laughs> I... I got it. Of all the cliffhangers we've had in a while, and we usually end... Half and half, we end on like, oh, what's going to happen next? I am definitely intrigued by this. Of you surpass me in power, but you can't beat me. What does that mean? Is it something with trunks? Is it some <laughs> secret thing that So has? Yeah. What What's sixteen going to do? Sixteen yeah. can't even leave the island. Mm-hmm. He can't even follow. He can't even follow along. He said they're too fast. That's right. Too fast. Too furious. These, <laughs> they're Tokyo drifting. I cannot follow. <laughs> oh my God, is that Han? <laughs> Han's back. We've seen this one scene like four times. Han's in a different, <laughs> Han's in a different area every single time. <laughs> I can't wait for these three <laughs> guest stars to all be Dom's brother. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, Dom's dad was just going nuts. Mm-hmm. Sent a franchise. <laughs> I'm trying That's to make crazy. a super spy over here. Oh my god! <laughs> Dom's dad is the original Doctor Shiro, <laughs> <laughs> taking bits of these these drag racers, putting them together. Dom looks over at at the racer X equivalent in the next. <laughs> Put Speed Racer in Fast and Furious. Look, they're gonna they're gonna do a GI Joe Transformers crossover. Oh, I you don't know how exciting that is to me. I don't care if it's dumb. I will be there <clears throat> as long as Cobra Commander can go Megatron. <laughs> you betrayed me. No one saw this coming. No, don't take off my faceplate. Aw. I'm Can a you... snake man. In later seasons. More than meets the eye. Can one of you be my armor? Where's Pete Davidson? <laughs> Can't believe Pete Davidson was a Transformer. I was not mad at... I forget what the name of the new one was, with uh, where it's just the Maximals. Mm-hmm. 
I'm just like, it's Optimus Primal. It's Rhinox. I don't like. It's cheap. Gimme, gimme, gimme. No yeah, rat, no were, rat trap. So fuck yeah, that. Yeah, but, but those were the good old days. Those those toys, the Beast Wars mm-hmm. Transformers toys were something special. Those just the cartoon. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Early CG. Early CG, baby. We we didn't know how aesthetically pleasing it was at the time. Mm-hmm. So smooth. So smooth. Um, just like this outro for the episode, smooth as hell. Uh, thank you for coming back uh, with a with a quick one. We appreciate it. Um, we'll see what. Yeah, we're just taking it as it comes. Not saying we're back to our regular scheduled program yet. Um, but hopefully many, but hopefully oh, we're on our way to yeah. getting there. Vince, yeah. I don't know if there's any updates you want to give in general. You certainly don't have to, but I know people out there are, are wondering and, and care about you. Yeah. And, and what I want to say is thank you all for, for the, the support along this, uh, very long and interesting journey. Um, I can safely say that, you know, I am in the recovery phase of this whole ordeal. Um, my doctors are very pleased with where all of my numbers are. I could go into a, a, a very long diatribe of what they all mean and all that, but all you need to know is that I'm on my way back. Uh, so please be patient as, as we get this new schedule going and, and see how I feel. Uh, but this felt really good. I hadn't done a bunch of these voices in a while, so mm-hmm. it feels good to get them out of my out of my throat. Yeah. Um, well, your wife chest. wouldn't let you. She like put her finger up to your mouth when you attempted. Every right? time I, I go into the go into the hospital, ready to yell at somebody as Vegeta. <laughs> Where are my step? <laughs> <laughs> wrong place. Wrong time. Wrong place. To use the, I have to I have to use my Vince voice. Ew. Ew. Um, but yeah, um, I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you to everybody that guessed it on the pod. And thank you, Aaron, for, for holding down the fort for so long. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to, to be back and and to, to keep doing this thing. So without further ado, whether you are flashbacking to days of future past Mm -hmm. or you're me, Yajirobe, getting blasted in the ass. <laughs> you gotta, gotta keep, keep fighting God. Yajirobe, did you get blasted in the ass again? <laughs> hey, shut up, you stupid cat. I told one one senzu bean, not a whole bushel. <laughs> now you shut up. I need all the beans I can handle. Your your ass up face down, Yajirobe. You can't you're in no condition. <laughs> I'm surprised she let you live. Not as surprised to me. My my raw animal magnetism. I I I heard the tail end of that fight where she's like Hold on, let me do a, let me do my eighteen impression. I've been waking on it. <laughs> oh, sh- surely that rank smell means he died instantly. <laughs> and then she flew away, like you know, waving her hand in front of her face. I use I'm- my ultimate defense. <laughs> Stank. Your your skunk technique. <laughs> Only a Ronin would know a technique that strong. Goku couldn't even defeat that technique. He died of a heart attack. Yeah, you're the... Look, in the, again, in this future, we have to keep it a secret that you killed Goku because you were so smelly you gave him a heart attack. I am the virus. <laughs> you're patient zero, Yajirobe. Yeah, 